nations and for over 40 years the leading scientists of the world have been telling us we're headed down a dangerous path. That's why in November of 1992 this remarkable document was released. It's called World Scientists Warning to Humanity. When you look at the 1600 names signed on from more than 70 countries in the world, these are not second or third rate scientists like me. These are the top scientists of the planet. Over half of all Nobel Prize winners alive in 1992 signed this document. So what are they, what are they uh, uh, warning us about? Listen to their words. Human beings in the natural world are on a collision course. Human activities inflict harsh and often irreversible damage on the environment and on critical resources. If not checked, many of our current practices put at serious risk the future we wish for human society and may so alter the living world that it will be unable to sustain life in the manner that we know. Fundamental changes are urgent. If we are to avoid the collision, our present course will bring about. Then they go and list where the collision is taking place. The atmosphere, water, ocean, soil, forests, species extinction and overpopulation. And then the words grow even more bleak. No more than one or a few decades remain before the chance to avert the threats we now confront will be lost and the prospects for humanity immeasurably diminished. We, the undersigned senior members of the world's scientific community, hereby warn all humanity of what lies ahead. A great change in our stewardship of the earth and life on it is required if vast human misery is to be avoided and our global home on this planet is not to be irretrievably mutilated. It's been 16 years since this document came out. They listed the five things that must be begun immediately if we are to avoid the collision. This is a frightening document, but I'll tell you what was more terrifying was the response of the global media. In North America, none of the major television networks bothered to report it, and that includes the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation in Canada. None of the, ma none of the major tel uh, the, uh, newspapers, including the New York Times and the Washington Post, bothered to report it. I know for a fact the New York Times said this is not newsworthy. Now, this is half of all Nobel Prize winners telling us we could have as little as 10 years to avoid a catastrophe, and this is decided as not newsworthy. And I'd love to know whether ABC bothered to cover it. What, so I just want to remind you then, th these media are the ways that most human beings, most people get their information. What are issues that they do consider worthwhile? Not for days or weeks, but let's consider some issues that they've been covering for months and years. You remember a guy named O.J. Simpson? You remember Princess Diana? Bill and Monica? Michael Jackson? Paris Hilton? And I guarantee you none of these people or what they were involved in will have any significance at all in the future. And this is what the media spend their time obsessed with and when over half of all Nobel Prize winners usher this, utter this warning, this is considered not newsworthy. That, I believe, is terrifying.